this video, we are taking a look at the JBL 220TWS, an AirPod inspired design with some impressive sound performance, professionally tuned by Harman Acoustic Engineers. But at around $100, are they a worthy alternative to the AirPods or similarly priced earbuds? In this video, we are going over key features, seeing who this product would be good for, how it compares to the competition, and whether it's actually worth your hard earned money. So stay tuned. Okay, let's get into it. The JBL Tune 220TWS comes in a few different colors. You're not limited to your standard white or black buds. However, we think that they could have gone with some bolder color choices. The case has a simple design and a decent matte finish on the outside and a gloss finish on the inside. The case is not as pocket friendly as the AirPods case. It's taller, it's wider, and it's considerably thicker. Unlike the glossy AirPods, the 220TWS are nice and lightweight with a matte finish, making them easy to grip. But we did find that the stems are much bulkier in design. They lack some finesse and they could be argued to have a more contemporary look. Overall, both the earbud and the case have solid build quality and they feel quite durable. We found the JBLs were very comfortable with a universal fit. They sit nicely in your ear. Even with extended wear, there was no added pressure since they sit outside your ear canal but on the flip side, you don't get that tight seal. The dome is slightly bigger than you'll find on the AirPods, so depending on your ears, you might get a better seal with Apple's signature buds. We were really impressed with the overall sound performance. It makes for an ultra wide frequency and balance that even audiophiles will enjoy. The mids were high and clear. You get really distinct vocals here that comes across quite powerfully. We found nice separation too, even with more layered mixes, there was little to no distortion. Now, JBL pushes these buds as pure bass. Although we found the bass did have a nice presence with quality lows, it lacked punchy deeps for bass heads. The physical buttons are responsive. We didn't really experience any issues using them. And for those of you who aren't a fan of touch controls, you know, the kinds you might accidentally trigger a function, you should enjoy these JBLs. One great thing about JBL Bluetooth speakers is their integration with JBL apps for EQ and presets. So taking that into account, we were disappointed that the Tune 220TWS didn't have an app for integration or any additional options. The mic performed well. Our voices came across loud and clear, even while in noisy environments. Now, you can use either earbud independently for music, but unfortunately only the right earbud has a microphone. We don't think that's a deal breaker for most, but understandably it can be inconvenient depending on your personal preference. The Bluetooth 5 connection was solid with no dropouts. The range was impressive and there was no noticeable audio lag when watching videos. Do note, neither the box nor the JBL website lists an IPX rating for these buds, so we can assume that they are not water or sweat resistant. That means if you're planning on wearing these buds for workouts, you may want to check out the Jabra Elite Active 65T. They cost slightly more, but they do have an IPX56 rating for sweat and dust. We got about three hours of listening time, which is considerably low at this price point. With the case charging, we get a total of just 19 hours. There's also no fast charging. It took closer to two hours to get fully charged on these buds for just three hours of use. With those numbers, these JBLs might be more suitable for those that don't plan on using them for extended periods. It also would have been nice to have wireless charging to make up a little for the battery performance shortfall. Unfortunately, for those that have long since moved on to USB-C for your phones, the 220TWS still uses a micro USB connection. So what's the verdict? The JBL Tune 220TWS is a nice set of true wireless earbuds with impressive sound performance. Even audiophiles should be impressed by the ultra wide frequency and great overall balance. It may even beat out the AirPods. So sound wise, these buds could be a solid alternative for those looking for a great sounding earbud under $100. But again, that's only as long as you don't mind the IPX rating and the shorter battery performance. For those interested in earbuds for workouts, the Jabra Elite Active 65T comes with an IPX 56 rating and five hours of playback on a single charge. The Jabras also feature app integration with the Jabra Sound Plus app, which is great for personalizing your earbuds. Well, that's all for this video. We hope you guys liked it. If you did, please go ahead and give the video a like. If you're new to the channel, we review tech in a simple, straightforward manner for the average person. So if you want tech review simplified, be sure to subscribe. And check out the description for links to the most updated pricing. Till next time, I hope you have a great day.